Hey everybody, how are you doing? My name is Benjamin and thank you so much for clicking on this channel because in this particular video, you're going to be learning something interesting I don't think we've actually done before. You're going to be looking at creating an Independence Day design for America. If you are not an American, fine, that's okay. But over here, we are just going to be doing that. And I think this is also just to help you with some ideas you can have for your country when you're designing the um independence day design or any memorial day or holiday design for your country so let's dive straight into it let's check how to get it done i'm going to be showing you everything from scratch so make sure to stick to the end okay so this is what we're actually you know going to design just in case you're wondering what dimension are we using we are using the 1080 by 1315 just in case you don't know how to find this dimension. How do you go about it? Don't worry. I've got you. So on your home page, okay, you should first of all see this plus icon. So once you click on it, this pop-up should show up, all right? Then come to social media. Okay, social media over here. Then you should see this dimension, the popular dimensions. As part of it, you should find this one, the Instagram post 4x5, which is a 1080 by 1350. Okay, now that should bring you here to a blank canvas and I believe we can now start. So the first thing we are actually going to do is to start with the background and with this, we will search for clouds. Okay, so clouds, this should bring so many images, but let's go into photos because that's what we are actually looking for. Okay, so we have this, we can place this over here and just increase it to something like this. Okay, so very easy and very simple. Yeah now the next thing is i would rather go into my how call my recently used so that i can pull up some of the resources i use and just show you the name so you can easily find them okay yeah so the second thing i want you to do is to search for the white house okay in elements so once you do that you should find this image or similar images okay we'll keep it here and remove the background <laughs> All right, so you can see we've removed it. Interesting. Okay, so something like this should be fine for us. And we just drag to make sure that everything's in the background. And you see, it's all of this. Even this alone makes it look like an original um, image. Okay. So now the second thing we are going to do is to search for this stone. Okay, so I actually tried finding this particular image on the internet uh, because I wasn't really understanding what it was. So. As you can see, it's called the round, wait, did I say round? The Mount Rushmore. Okay, so let's copy this, come to Canva and paste it here. We should see a lot here, yeah, Mount Rushmore. So, oh, you can see how helpful I can be. This is how it's spelled, R-U-S-8 Rush, Rushmore. Okay, so that's what we are going to have over here. Now, we don't need a cloud over here, so I'll just come here to remove bg okay you so come here right click come to layer then you know my favorite show layers okay so once you click on it you should have it over here then we'll just bring it behind the um you know the white house so this is what we should have okay now the next thing we are going to look out for is this interesting monument we have in america okay so we come to all you know just the view or and it's called the washington monument okay so you can also just search for it and I'm going to use this one. Okay, so we just do the same. Remove the background. This is what we, you know, we have. And we will just send it behind the White House. Okay, so we come here, right click, layer. Come to show layers and bring it to the back. Okay, and this is what we have. Now, the Statue of Liberty is the next one we want to add. So, Statue of Liberty, I think I was correct. So, we just select it and also remove the background of this. Okay. Then, we can bring it here. Come to the layer again. Okay. Then, just bring it behind everything. So, this can be here. Now, the colors, you can see the colors are sort of different. Okay. So, we want at least the colors to match before we add any more elements. So this is looking bluish, this is looking white, this is you know, different. So let's see if we can blend the colors a little bit. And then select this image, come to edit, okay? Then come to adjust. Over here, we'll adjust the temperature. Okay, just to you know, sort of just make it look similar to what we have over here. Okay, so something like this is fine, you know? Something like this is fine, then we'll just 
right click on this copy style and just paste it here you know then right click copy style and just paste it over here just to at least achieve something similar then copy style and paste it here to see okay i think this looks better in a way all right so now let's try to make things look a bit interesting so that it doesn't look like you know this is too flat so come into element and search for clouds okay so i'll just search for clouds and as you can see we have some clouds in here i'll choose this we choose the size and i'll just place these clouds behind the white house okay so we would have let me just make a lot of duplicates and just select all of them then group them you know if you want so that you just treat all of them as one main element then come to the layers tab send it behind okay so this is what we have if we can duplicate it again bring it to the top over here okay and we just send it behind this again so that we have something like this okay but i think this is too much so we might have to remove some of them okay so just to make things easy you can just be adjusting them from the layers tab okay this one we can remove it and we might not need this one okay just to keep it very simple okay now i think we have something like this which is looking very fine you can also choose to flip some of these um, clouds okay just to add some varieties and uh, all of those things you know to it so that's what i'm currently doing over here and i think it's looking fine so now that we have that we can add the american flag so make sure you're coming into you know your elements such as american flag i have one over here that i think i will just stick to so i would remove the background okay and just keep it over here like this it will send it all the way to the back okay and it should go behind even the statue of liberty then we can duplicate it and just flip it okay then we can have this one also over here okay beautiful to something like this now with the flag one thing i would want us to do is to increase the saturation so that the colors can stand out to so come to edit and you should see saturation and boost it a little bit with the vibrance okay then we can right click on it copy the style and paste it over here one last thing i did that was interesting to me is i came to search for the air show in honor of the fatherland day okay so you can also search for that in canva you should see these jets okay in there so i just came here and also removed the background just to add some you know nice stuff going on in here you know it's not something people should pay attention easily it should only be noticed by people who like to pay attention to details so you can have it here something like that okay then we can add our text so just to keep it simple i'm just going to copy my text from the other design okay just copy my text and i'll just paste it here okay so you can see what we have at the moment so with my cloud i will just maybe flip it just to see if it looks good and this is not bad maybe i'll just change the clouds i think that's all i may just do okay i think this looks better so i think yes this is what we have been able to create i know it's a lot but take the time and um, don't break your neck or strain or strain your eyes too but take your time and relax to create it and yes i hope you found it helpful the name is benjamin just in case you're on the free version of canva i have a canva pool link in the description box below i should see you in my next video peace